Now let's start by all the leads, their placement on the body, and on the EKG. Standard EKGs consist of 12 leads, 6 limb leads, and 6 precordial leads. Each lead provides a different view of the electrical activity. Think about having 12 cameras situated around the heart, which are each zoomed in and focusing on a specific area. By putting all those images together, you can get a pretty good idea of what's going on as a whole. The limb lead recordings, situated in the first half of the EKG, are composed of vectors created by electrodes placed on the right arm, left arm, and the left leg. Leads 1, 2, and 3 are considered bipolar leads as they comprise a recording between two electrodes. Lead 1 is the vector between the right arm to the left arm. Lead 2 is the vector between the right arm to the left leg. And lead 3 is the vector between the left arm to the left leg. These three limb leads may form a triangle called Einthoven's triangle. Then, to complete the limb leads, there are three augmented limb leads. Lead AVR represents the vector pointing towards the right shoulder. Leads AVL represents the vector pointing towards the left shoulder, and lead AVF represents the vector pointing towards the feet. These six limb leads can be rearranged into a diagram such as this one here. We'll go over this when we discuss the mean QRS axis. Now let's talk about the precordial leads. The six unipolar precordial leads, V1 to V6, are placed on the thorax like in this diagram here. More precisely, V1 is placed at the fourth intercostal space on the right parasternal border. V2 is adjacent to V1 but on the left parasternal border. V3 is placed between V2 and V4. V4 is placed at the fifth intercostal space on the midclavicular line. V5 is placed adjacent to V4 along the anterior axillary line. And V6 is placed more laterally along the mid-axillary line. And there you have it, 6 limb leads and 6 precordial leads, which together make up the 12 leads of a standard EKG. And finally, just a little word on calibration. A standardization mark or calibration signal can be seen on every EKG. The EKG must be properly calibrated so that a 1 millivolt signal produces a 10 millimeter deflection.